You're watching the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey. Today's mailbag filmed live on our Monday live show. All your questions in coming in live, this time following the kind of sudden but still fun T.Y. Hilton signing. $5 from Dwayne Jackson to start here. If Marvin Harrison Jr. balls out at Ohio State and declares the draft and becomes available like CD, would Dallas pass on him? The answer is no. The problem is Marvin Harrison will probably go top five. And I don't think you'll have, nor should you want, a top five pick in the 2024 draft class. From RB in the Christmas spirit, what is the Dallas Cowboys draft day wish list? Also, tagalongs are better. Thank you, RB. Um, I think it depends on what happens in free agency. Areas you, sh you should consider. Running back. Do you want to take Bijan back in a row? And if they're back round one, I'm open to it. Uh, maybe a day two and or day three pick of the position is, is enough to suffice there. Got to figure out tight end. Seems like a good class. Is Schultz back? Got to figure out offensive line. Who's your left guard? Is it T Tyler Smith or is he at left tackle? Who's your center? Is it still Biotis? Who's your right tackle? Is Terrence Steele healthy enough? Can you get an impact three technique? Defensive tackle you don't really have right now. What are you with your linebackers? Two of your top guys are free agents. Van Der Esch and Barr. And if Kelvin Joseph does not ball out, who's your cornerback too? All those areas are good ones to consider. Plus... Maybe it's a receiver again, too. From Joe Linden, can Chugs play right tackle? Should Tyler Smith move to right tackle? Uh, where'd you play again, Jeremy? You left guard? Now, didn't I get you when we were doing uh, drills in the office with the hezzy spin move? Yeah, I did. I did. It was there. I also stumbled and fell because I hit the edge of the table, but still. Uh, you could try Tyler Smith at right tackle. The plan was him to go at left guard. He hasn't played right tackle. I would probably lean towards Jason Peters out there in the event he can play, you know, the 60 snaps it requires per game. Otherwise, maybe you try Tyler out there. We'll see it practice throughout this week. Jay Elam, McGovern at right tackle. He can't play tackle. He doesn't have the size or the speed to handle it. If you want to keep playing McGovern, it's it's what the last Super says. It's Tyler Smith at right tackle, Tyron Smith and Connor McGovern on the left side of the offensive line. Jason Welch for the Cowboys replace Tarrant for this offseason. It was a definite no before the injury. And now you're kind of like, uh, what do you do? In fear, the Cowboys said, we'll be back for training camp. I'm not sure I buy that. It's a rather aggressive recovery timeline. Uh, it's like eight months, and that's tight for a tackle and a torn ACL and MCL. Uh, Steele played really well, though. He is an RFA, by the way. So you still have some some flexibility. You can give them the second round tender, whatever you want to be, and it's not that expensive. It's a question of not do you replace Terrence Steele. For me, it's you try to pay him now. Should Dallas resign Terrence Steele? P for pay him right now, or I guess in the offseason, I should say, or type in W for you'd rather wait. It's the pinned comment on today's show, so if the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there. P for pay W for weight. From Henry, is the Hilton signing potential bad news for James Washington? I mean, maybe. Look, clearly this team wanted more receiver help. Uh, I think it's some bad news for Noah Brown, Washington, certainly Tolbert, because they don't love what they have at wide receiver three or four in terms of proven reliability and or depth behind that. So I, I don't think I, I don't think Hilton's going to be a thousand yard relative campaign season and like that's not who he is at this age and this timing but yeah I think if you're watching you're like okay I gotta compete a little bit more he only didn't play much it was a small small sample size not gonna freak out but one target got rocked and he dropped it it's not great Chris Snow since the Vikings lost with the Cowboys the two seed no the top four seeds go to division winners no matter what so the Cowboys can only get a top four seed in a home game in the playoffs if they catch Philly in the NFC East race. The Cowboys are your five seed right now. And frankly, they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of locked in right there. This, of course, I will make note, filmed before the Cardinals Monday night game. Not that that matters there. The Eagles are your one seed right now. The Vikings are the two. The Niners just behind them. Tampa four, then Dallas five. So even if you go 13 and three and you lose the division to a two loss Eagles team, which is, a very real possibility. Or you go, whatever, four losses against a three-loss Eagles team. Doesn't matter. You're the five seed. And you got to go on the road and play, most likely, a Tom Brady-led 
Bucks team, which, mmm, bad man gives me bad memories. Uh, today's Cowboys report is brought to you by Fetch. Fetch is super easy to use and a free app lets you earn rewards on anything you buy, even super chats you can get points for. Scan any physical receipt or e-receipt, like the one you get for a super chat, and you will earn points for your purchases. The process takes only seconds. You don't have to worry about where the receipt is from or what it's on. Let me show you how easy it is. You can see in this video right here. All you do is open the Fetch app, press the orange camera button, snap a photo of your receipt, hit submit, and boom, the Fetty pops, showing you've earned some more reward points. It's a very simple and easy process. You can also click the e-receipt function to get rewarded for your Amazon purchases or any online shopping you do by syncing your email account. You can then redeem those points for gift cards at Amazon, Starbucks, or any of the hundreds of retailers and restaurants that are available. Fetch is available on iPhone and on Android. Use our link, that's chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter promo code chat, C-H-A-T, at sign up for 5,000 bonus points once you scan your first receipt. That is the equivalent of a free $5 gift card to get started. It's a free app, but the bonus points is only available for a limited time. So check it out. Chatsports.com slash fetch. Links in the comment section and the description of today's video. Zach, DC for life. Is Joey Porter Jr. a prospect for us in the draft? Possible, yeah. I don't know if he gets there, but depending on where you're drafting, how his pre-draft process goes, I think he'll be a good, a good option for the Cowboys if you can get him. From Vince, are the Purdy Niners still the team to avoid? First off, it's a great nickname. Purdy Niners, love it. Uh, with Debo out, he might be back come playoff time. Uh, we'll see on the timing of that one. The Niners are not a good matchup for you. They have a fantastic defense. They get pressure with four. They play some great zone. Their ground game is elite. I don't like the Niners matchup. Now, Purdy's been good for San Francisco so far. I feel better about playing Purdy than I do Jimmy Garoppolo. But the teams that worry me the most are the Niners and the Eagles. Those are the two best teams beyond the Cowboys in the NFC. That's why I'd love to, have a, a, to win the division. Then I get to play the Giants or Commanders or somebody. Not... Not Eagles or Niners or Bucks in the first round. I guess Vikings too. Clinton Bach, 2016 readout. Are you still taking Zeke? Assuming you can get Dak in the fourth. Look, I will not sure go to. I wanted Jalen Ramsey. Go dial back the clock way back when. If you can still get Ramsey at four, aren't you doing it? Now, redraft changes everything. And if you're getting Dak in the fourth, okay. I think if you're being honest. And you still got Dak in the fourth because you've got to take Dak at four otherwise. But if you get Dak in the fourth, hypothetically, I think your redraft is Jalen Ramsey, Derrick Henry. That's what I think would be. If, if, if you could go back in time and do it over, knowing what you know now, it's Ramsey Henry. Darren McGuire, why is Tack McKinley not playing? Uh, I know there's a contingent who are hyping up Tack McKinley, which is fine. You ha have your guys. That's not a big deal. Uh, to be blunt, He's just not that impactful right now. He's not the guy the Cowboys thought he was going to be coming out of the draft. And you're already benching a defensive edge each week. You know, Chauncey Golston in place week. Now, maybe if Dorrance Armstrong can't go, you give Tack McKinley a shot. But I think he's kind of more in the breaking case of emergency edge option right now than a guy you're like, who are you taking snaps away from? It's not Dorrance Armstrong. It's not Tank Lawrence. It's not Mike. It's not Sam Williams. It's not Dante Fowler. There just isn't. Snaps, for now, at least. But what do you think? Should Tack McKinley be playing more for the Cowboys? Simple Y for yes or N for no in the comments. Juan Ramos, if the Cowboys go to the Super Bowl and lose the game, is McCarthy gone or is he staying? He's staying unless he retires in that case. Heck, if you make it to the NFC Championship game, he's not going anywhere. Uh, if you make it that far for the first time in a very long time, you're not going to fire your head coach, whether we like it or not. Jeremy Chugs is burner. I think T.Y. and Jerry bunch of each other at the AARP convention. Hey, T.Y. is only 33. And we both know Jerry ain't wasting his time on that. So it's funny, Jeremy Chugs is burner. Uh, but no, it's... Uh, I'll just laugh at it. Uh, Brent Workman, who's got F. Marshy as his profile picture. So feel free to type in F. Marsh in the comments. I love it. Uh, I don't worry about the cornerbacks. Joseph is not good. Yeah, um... I would be worried, too. You're, I mean, you're, you're down two starters, Anthony Brown, Jordan Lewis. Now, De'Ron Bland's been a nice piece for you. You're very happy about that. He's your new long-term nickel, I think. But I, I don't think Joseph played that great. Uh, first start, so room, room to grow. But 
Look, if, if, if Anthony Brown allowed 69 yards with one PBU on five targets and four catches, we'd all be mad at him. I say keep the same energy in terms of wanting more out of your quarterback, too, which you can get there, but you should want more. Now, we have award-winning mailbags, according to producer Jeremy, and that's Jeremy saying it. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you can get on these mailbags. Simple red button or the black and white button on the new version of YouTube. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. From Michael Harrington, why didn't the Cowboys start Deron Bland at quarterback against the Texans? He had two interceptions the week before. Uh, the short answer is they did. Uh, in the modern day NFL, the nickel corner is a starter for you. They're out there more than your other linebacker is. Deron Bland played uh, tied for the third most snaps on defense. He missed like three of them out there, basically. 60 snaps in the game for Deron Bland. Trayvon Diggs was drive deep, he played 60. Kelvin Joseph played 40. So he was your other starter at corner. It's just that when they go to three, three packages, he's in there at nickel. So I, I really wouldn't read anything into number three corner, nickel corner, whatever. I'm looking at the, the snaps by position here for Deron Bland. You know, Deron Bland played a handful on the outside, 12-ish, but that's just kind of like the, the formation stuff. He is your other starter. It's just he's the nickel, too. Uh, Lu Luigi? It's like a, a weird Luigi knockoff here. Uh, who was a better quarterback, Romo or Prescott? Guys, they're the same. The, the, these teams are the same with, hey, sometimes your defense is good, other years it's not so good. The quarterback gets a bad rap because it's the Cowboys quarterback. They, they have a bad turnover. Like, I'm old enough to remember, and I, we, you guys did it. I remember when the Cowboys dropped 50 against Denver and they lost that game. And Romo threw one interception late because his foot got stepped on. And y'all blamed Romo. It's the exact same treatment right now. And until you win a title or something, it's going to be the same. They're both franchise guys. You both should be really happy you have them. And members of the fan base aren't because they have unlisted expectations or just don't like them for whatever reason. Adam Hunter, why doesn't Jabril Cox play? They just don't think he's ready. Uh, they don't make him a – he's not a core special teamer right now. That's, that's Luke Gifford. And they're going to play Barr and Clark and Van Der Esch over him. So to scratch most days, hoping that the, that the special teamers here uh, eventually get some up to speed and maybe next year makes bigger impact. And you know what? I owe responsibility to. Because the Cowboys, just like they did with fatties only, took Cox out too seriously. Like they made it so he just doesn't play at all. So I'm, try I'm trying to get Cox out trending again, but this time, not as serious. It's on the field, not a healthy scratch. Spam Cox out in the comment section. Roy Williams, Dak is reminding me of 2019 Jameis Winston. Uh, there are not nearly as many bad plays from Dak Prescott. Yes, there have been interceptions. Those are bad, but we're talking Jameis Winston with a lot more interceptions than Dak had this year, and... I think it's also fair to say it's a bit more of an outlier campaign when historically Dak has not turned the football over. You got to cut him down, make no mistake, but I think we're a long ways off from 2019 Jameis Winston. Chris B., if we choke in the first round of the playoffs again, I would seriously consider us blowing it all up. I get it. I get where you're coming from. Jerry will not. Jerry Jones will not do a rebuild in his last couple years of really trying to make a push for it. He's just, he didn't have time to rebuild. He's, he said it before, he doesn't have time. So I get where you're coming from. Jerry's not going to allow it. I'll also say this, as disappointing as it would be, you're still a good team this year. So make changes, yes. Try what they did this offseason. You didn't try this offseason. You kind of punted it a little bit. Be more aggressive would be my mindset. Anakin, Eagles lost to the Commanders in a very similar game. They have no room to laugh. Here, we've brought this up a lot, and I'll say it again. Can't use one game, either side, as evidence of, ah, the other 10 games don't count. That's not, that's not a fair sample size. That's an outlier game. You're not always going to have your A game. So because of that, you will sometimes win games you should lose or lose games you should win. It's a long season, but you got to play well in the playoffs when it all matters. Ryan Chavez, last one here. 
Who do you want to keep next off season? Kellen Moore or Dan Quinn? If, if, if I can only pick one, it's Dan Quinn. Now, defense has not been that great as of late. There have been a lot more gaffes than you would want against not good teams in Indian Houston. The defense is going to have the run game a little bit, though. But I'm keeping Dan Quinn. If I, only, if I can only keep one, I'm keeping Quinn pretty easily. Today's Cowboys report, well, that's it for it. But I'm on Twitter, at WhatGoingDowny, with my DMs open. Any questions you guys have, let me know at WhatGoingDowny.